Yeah, hey, what's hell? They send a wire through the WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Hope ain't nobody to cuss at. Shit change, but it still a get pushed back. Push back. I drop me these little nigga push back. Push. I count up, just look at my contract. I count up, just look at my contract. Yo, everyone, and welcome back to another video. So, today we're doing the day in the life of being me. So, as you would have seen, we've got ready for work and we need to set off because it's half past seven and we're already pretty late. And we've also took our scale weight, which is finally below 85 kilograms which is the lowest we've been this entire cut. So I'm gonna grab my meal preps out of the fridge and then get over to work because we need to hurry up. Right boys, so as you know, we're on five liters of water per day. So before I even get in work, I'm trying to neck one of these. If you do this in the morning and then at night, you've only really got to get four liters in. And say you drink a liter while you're training, and you've only got, really got to get three litres in. When you break it down like that, it's not bad at all. So this is the start of the day, 500 mil, and then I'm also gonna show you the app that I track my water on. <sighs> right boys, so when I track my water, I use this app called Water Reminder. It's pretty simple. You literally just add your water in as you drink. So I've just had 500 mil, stick that on and it knocks it off your daily goal so obviously once you've reached that goal you're done for the day which is an easy way to actually get your water in the sun is setting on the atlantic i better full moon is gonna show right boys so as you will be aware i do intermittent fasting until 12 12 12 pm so meal number one won't be going down for another three hours four hours so meal number one will be at 12 pm meal number two will be around 2 pm and then meal number three will be after gym at around 7 p.m. So we do a little 15 minute walk into work, which ticks some of our steps off anyway, which is pretty good. Then once we're in work, obviously doing work, we've got to wait four hours until meal number one goes down. So on the way into work now, and then once we're in, I'll show you meal number one, which is the skewer bowl. Eight hours later. Right boys, so it's roughly eight hours later, work is done, I'm gonna talk you through what I've had today. So I started the day off with a coffee and the scare bowl, what a surprise. So that was at 12 p.m. So I fasted from 8 p.m. last night until 12 p.m. today, which is a 16 hour fast. So that was meal number one. After that, I had a can of Prime, which is like 10 calories, so nothing at all. Boosting the caffeine because I'm pretty addicted at this point. Then after that, we had the usual chicken and rice. The calories and macros will be on the screen somewhere around there. And that was it, boys. Apart from that, all they had was two more coffees. Bit of an addict. Oh, actually, I had an apple as well, which was with the scare bowl. So the total calories for the day so far is 1,000 calories with 113 grams of protein. So we're gonna drive home now, which we're doing currently, and we're gonna go to the gym because today we have a chest and shoulders. So we'll get to that later on. We do need to have something pre-gym because we don't need running on empty. So we're going to get something to eat before we go to the gym and then get a pump and then come home for meal number three. So as soon as I get home from work before I go to the gym, I pop one of these bad boys. Now, in terms of calories and carbs, pretty much identical to a squares bar. So that's basically what it is. But yeah, carb up before the gym. I'm also going to get some caffeine by way of an energy drink, monster or whatever. But we'll see. But apart from that, that's it, boys. Going to get rid of get out of this fucking sweaty uniform and then get to gym. Right boys, gym chat cutter is on chest and shoulders workout, let's run it. Right boys, so the workout is done and the first thing we need to do is eat. So when it comes to your post-workout meal, there is three things, three things you need to keep in mind. Number one is high protein, number two is high carbs, and number three is limit your post-workout fats. So when you're having your meal, don't have too much fats. Reason being is fats slow your digestion down. 
Post-workout, you don't want to do that. You want to refuel your body as quickly as possible. None of this anabolic window bullshit, but you do want to refuel very quick. So we're going to go and make meal number three now, and I'll show you what we're eating in terms of that. Right, so this chicken has been left out to the frost overnight. So step number one is to clean the chicken. You don't need to. I understand it's being cooked at high temperatures. Some people do, some people don't, but I do. So the chicken is now washed. Step number two is to weigh your fucking chicken. Now this part is so, so, so important. If you don't weigh your chicken, you don't know what you're eating. Simple as that. What I would say is make sure that every single time you weigh your chicken, you weigh it before you cook it. And the reason that I say that is because when you're tracking your calories on MyFitnessPal, if you weigh it cooked one day and uncooked the next day, the weight will be different. The weight will differ pre-cooking and post-cooking. So make sure it's consistent every single fucking time. So we have got roughly 700 grams of chicken. So step number two is done. Now it's time to do step number three, which is marination. So when it comes to marinating chicken, you've got two choices. You can either marinate it when it's like this, or you can cut it up and then marinate it afterwards. What I like to do is to cut it up first and then marinate it just so that the whole round side of the chicken is marinated. So I'm gonna cut this up and then we'll marinate. Right, so when it comes to seasoning, I may get cooked for this. As a man with Jamaican background, I should really be cooking up something better than this. However, for me, I just like to keep it nice and simple. So we've got literally salt, pepper, Cajun seasoning, garlic flakes, and then for some reason, I kind of like this. It's literally just chip seasoning, but it goes kind of hard. So that's what I marinate my chicken in. Come for me in the comments. I literally couldn't give a fuck. Right boys, so the chicken is marinated. Now, when it comes to actually cooking the chicken, you've got a couple of options. You've got this option, or you've got this option. So some people will say, this is bad and this is good. For me, I don't use this. For me, it just makes it difficult to cook. It makes the chicken stick to the pan. I'd much rather use olive oil. Now, people will tell you, olive oil is bad for you. Olive oil, is a healthy fat. And what did I say previously? We're limiting fats. So there's no other fats in this meal apart from olive oil. So we've not gone high on fats in terms of the proteins. We've got a lean piece of meat with low fat with low fat content. And then the carbs I'm not showing you yet, but that's also low fat. So having a little bit of olive oil cooking the chicken is not gonna do any harm at all. So let's get cooking the chicken. Right boys, so the protein chicken is cooked and as you can see from the steam pouring on my face, I've now prepared the carbs. Basmati rice. So, I don't really care about packet rice. Some people think I should cook the rice. Packet rice is just easier. It's done in two minutes. It tastes exactly the same. Basmati rice. So I'm gonna put these together, throw a bit of salad on there, a bit of sauce, and I'm gonna break down exactly what they are in terms of calories and protein. So here is the finished product, meal number three. I've got some sauce there to go with it, some sweet chili sauce. Let's break down the calories. Okay, so breaking down the calories, it's 600 calories, around 69 grams of protein. To be honest, I can't remember the carbs, I can't remember the fats, but there's the chicken in terms of the macros and there is the rice. The salad's probably about 20 calories and the sauce is probably about 40 calories. So about all together, about 650 calories, 70 grams of protein, roughly. So yeah, but I'm gonna cook into this. I'm gonna show you what I get on with with the rest of my day after the gym. So, eight hours in work, about two hours in the gym. What do I do after I get back from the gym and work? Well, you just seen what I do after work, make my food. So when I've just made that, I've made 700 grams of chicken. 
350 grams gets it right now, which you've just seen. 350 grams is my dinner for tomorrow. I've always done it like this. It's just so convenient and so easy. You only have to cook once for two meals. Simple as. Apart from that, the only real thing I'm doing right now is coaching. So I do online coaching. If you haven't heard of that before, it's basically you hire a coach slash personal trainer, but it's not in person. So you get a fully personalized online training program. You get a fully tailored diet plan, weekly check-ins, daily support, form analysis, all of that. So I have a client base which I work with 24-7 and that's what I do in my spare time. So the time currently is half past eight. That's the best fucking wallpaper in the world, by the way. So we do client work for about an hour, just doing check-ins, check checking over logbooks, checking over diet plans, just seeing how the clients are progressing. Pretty simple. Apart from that, that's pretty much it. The book that I'm reading at the moment, because I'm a little bit of a reader, as you can see by that shelf up there. I like reading, to be fair. The Euros is on right now, by the way. Portugal versus... Czech Republic but yeah this book at the moment psychology of money so that's upside down psychology of money so this is something I've read free well I've read it twice all the way through this is my first time reading it so I've got a collection of books which I'll show you right now actually so we've got in the collection all of these if you want to pause it and take a look feel free so yeah client check-ins Bit of reading. What I like to do as well after I eat my food is go on a little walk just to help with digestion. Tonight I'm not doing that because I'm just too busy, but on a usual day, I'll eat my food, go on like a 10 15 minute walk, job done. So that's it, boys. That is what I do with my life. Day in the life of being me. Work, work, gym, and more work. If you enjoyed this video, boys, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you lots next week. Peace.